So there is a locked chest right here, kind of, sort of. A locked locker. <laughs> it's to be exact. And this locked locker has... Oh, baby. It's got what we were looking for. You could try to test it out on the riot zombie over here. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to click it and... Oh, hello. Uh, oh, oh. Everybody, welcome back to the episode of Last Day on Earth Survival and welcome to the new update 1.11.6, the alpha version that we have the privilege of hopping into. This is an early access to it. It is not fully out for iOS or Android players yet, but Kafir did give us the opportunity to take an early look at it. So we are diving in and checking it out. And I think you guys are absolutely going to love this. Sorry if I'm a little bit on the quieter side. It is currently like 2 a.m., but uh, I wanted to get this video out to you guys and showcase all of its amazingness. So first off, some of the highlights that this has to offer is an entirely new chest revamp. The burglar skill finally has a use, usage. Raiders have gotten new quests and grenades have been added into the game as well. And they can actually be gotten from some of those burglar chests over here. You guys could already see a couple of those new quests in action. Killing the witch, that wasn't a thing before. Disassembling guns on the workbench, wasn't a thing either. Oh yeah, and the costs also did go ahead and get cheaper as well. So without further further ado let's go and start seeing these things in action so now the way the chests are going to work is like this as you guys can see in the upper right hand corner you can see this little upgrade icon and currently i do believe it is glitched because again this is the early alpha version of this update this is why it is not fully out and ready to go it is still a little bit buggy like right now i was not able to get the upgrading to work properly but you will be able to upgrade your chest up to the 45 slot trunk and ultimately up to the 75 slot rack which is like two trunks on top of each other and oh my god look at that level of storage that is absolute insanity so this is actually really cool because this gives us the opportunity to go and reorganize a lot of our stuff and actually consolidate a lot of the bigger chests over here into safety so this update giving us this new tier of chest is absolutely ridiculous for that reason alone because it means you'll be able to store even more within your most safe areas and you don't, won't need as many chests so you can actually start being kind of like decorative with your base and kind of like i don't know trying to do some cool stuff but already you guys can see oh this is going to be getting fun lads and then you will also be able to upgrade the trunk up to its 75 slot version over here and now as you guys saw over at the raiders one of the new quests was actually to go ahead and disassemble some guns so we'll just go ahead and skip that and showcase to you guys that that has already begun the process and we're gonna go out and try to find some of those uh yeah check it out one out of three over here so amazing for raids that there are tons of new tasks and the fact that they're also cheaper to skip so very awesome on that part I'm, I'm a big fan of that part for sure for sure we're gonna go and try to find out where this burglar stuff is but dude the chest stuff is absolutely awesome so you guys might be like confused what happens so like I, like I, for example i lost a lot of chests right like that's totally okay because they've actually been moved to like a lot of this storage that we are seeing here and as you guys are seeing the consolidation you can now do especially with these 75 rack things is that you can pretty much store twice as much stuff from 45 items up to 75 items at max and we're going to be upgrading more of our chests and trying to get as many items as we can into our steel room so that has already been absolutely dope but okay let's go let's try to find ourselves one of those grenades but there you guys have the amazing chest overhaul that i think is definitely a big part of this update and that i think is going to please a lot of people especially because a lot of people's chests may very well have gotten upgraded like mine did for free so free upgrades i'll take that to the bank but check it out we're going to be going to a couple of the locations that are known to have locked boxes now we know that they can be found within random zones over here like they said during the patch notes but they can also be found within the bunker and i'm going to show you guys the spot where you can find a locked chest guaranteed now we have burglar skill maxed up to level three so we don't even need to worry about a darn ting we're going to be totally fine on that part and then the police station actually has some locked doors with really good loot behind it so we're going to be putting this burglar skill to use and hopefully finding this grenade and putting that bad boy to use as well but let me know what you guys think about this update because 
because oh mama does it add in quite a good amount of stuff and it's not like it's anything crazy like a new location or nothing like that but i mean we got the grenade which is definitely a cool little thing to sprinkle on into there on top of this massive chest overhaul that i i don't know i'm a big fan of it because it does just help and the labeling too like your chest will literally be labeled and it's kind of cheeky because uh some of our chests kind of got oh mama we got a big boy coming after us but uh some of our chests actually kind of got auto sorted which was pretty freaking dope i'm not gonna lie like well not auto sorted but like some of those chests that had to get like merged together for example uh what ended up happening with those and okay this fancy giant is gonna be a pain in my bum to deal with so give me a sec i'm gonna uh use a little bit the rest of this shotgun rain and then let's just get i'm gonna graduate over here to the better shotgun rain because uh which mccall as soon as we get this shot off let's go ahead leg shot he's gonna be super slow and i'm gonna go ahead and give him the finishing blows of shotgun rain goodbye to you frenzy giant but yeah some of our stuff actually got stacked together and you guys could see like those like those pictures that we were showing on top of the chest showcasing what for the most part that chest has within it so once we give that a little bit more organization and especially once we craft more of those racks oh mama that storage that we're gonna have within that steel room is going to be insane like this is been a crazy chest update and i love what i'm seeing and i love spreading a little bit of that shot you're gonna rain it's a both of you schmucks goodbye mr spitter and goodbye exploder and we are getting closer and closer to that location that i was talking about and boop, goodbye to you i'll be taking these hard mode items as well off your hands but let me know what you guys are most excited for on this update for you guys personally to get your hands on what you think is the coolest part of it what you're looking forward to most and just in general your guys' thoughts around all of it because it's just a whole ton of absolute dopeness and i don't know it's it's no crazy huge update like the one we're expecting at the end of the month but for kind of like an up like for it's definitely a good update it's not a crazy big one i can definitely admit that but it's an update that definitely serves its purpose and it serves a very dope purpose at that and we're gonna go ahead and serve a little bit of shotgun rain of the double variety up right there uh this exploder is gonna have to be dealt with here into just one moment and let's go ahead and just get a little bit of shotgun rain to finish the job on that schmuck but dude i don't know i love this update because i i just i don't know it gives us especially the ability to craft a new tier of chest in the rack I don't know, man. The rack's definitely going to serve a very good purpose. Help us store more, obviously, cheaper gas to drive around. Dude, the cost of brass. Not the cost. The cost of gas was getting outrageous. This grenade, whenever we get our hands on top of it, I don't know, man. A lot of cool stuff. That goes without saying. That room right there, if you guys see my mouse over on that mini-map in the upper right-hand corner, that is where the locked chest should be and that is where we're gonna try to get to the bottom of an oh look at how cool that is even if you have the ak if you don't have the active skill mod unlocked it still shows up like right there is like an option to kind of show you okay that's a cool little thing that that's actually available there i don't have the weapon mod unfortunately but kind of cool that there's a pop-up police letting me know they're like yo there's an active skill mod for this gun um all right though let's go and spread a little bit of that shotgun rain that i was talking about because we got a big boy over here we got to deal with hello exploder your time will come baby well i mean the frenzy giant's time will come because he should be protecting that chest that i was talking about but let me know what y'all think in that comment section down below and reminder that that comment is gonna put you one a third of the way it's a week it's why i've done it i do such place do i gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure to like button make sure subscribe that will enter you in on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information not to mention the latest and greatest of new update gameplay as we continue covering this update everything that it has to offer and future updates just like this one because sometimes especially when we can get our hands early on an update you guys know we are going to be doing exactly that we're going to be showcasing everything that we can and just trying to do everything that you guys would possibly want to see and just try to help y'all out in that way shape or form and boop i just go ahead and hit him with a little bit of that and then a little bit of shotgun rain to finish the job now, like I'm saying, because my bunker was already open when this update dropped, there is a chance that this chest is not going to be locked, but I did want to showcase to you guys where the locked chest can be found, and that should be over here. But now the moment of truth. Can you be opened? Do I need to use the burglar skill? Actually, this chest is completely glitched, so okie dokie. <laughs> I think this update uh, wasn't ready for me having the bunker open, so that is noted. But that right there, that is going to be the lock picking chest that you are able to do. But that's okay 
okay because the police station has some prime candidates for this locked chest and some amazing locked doors behind it that we are going to go ahead and get to the bottom of. So let's continue this trek back, but again, the notification bell is going to be great for staying up to date with all the latest and greatest of update info because as soon as any new info comes out about the updates, we're diving head first into it and sharing it so you guys know what is to come and as soon as an update comes out and even sometimes before an update comes out, such as this alpha situation that we have on our hands here, we're diving head first into it, showcasing everything that there is and just trying to have as fan freaking fantastic of a time throughout it as possible. Like I'm saying, if there's anything that you guys want to see specifically, I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts around this alpha, but if there's anything you guys want to see me try, anything you want to see out of this new stuff and how it might work, let me know. I'm more than happy to test it out so you guys know once the full version comes out what to expect with your question so you can be as prepared as possible. And the notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter it on for that weekly giveaway, not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well but hokey dokey mr dealer i ain't going to you i'm going to the blackport bpd where we can expect to find some of those locked chests and then maybe we'll look around some red zones and try and see if we uh, not locked chests it says locked doors maybe we'll look around some red zones and try to find those locked chests because i believe locked chests have grenades within them and i want to find a grenade very badly you see yeah see yeah see and hello my ak just appears like it disappeared hell schmello Okie dokie, my AK. Oh, did I just drag my extra? What is going on? Yo, what me? I am so bamboozled right now. <laughs> what just happened? I just like dragged my extra slot. Uh, I, <laughs> okay, I don't know what in tarnation just occurred. That's what I'm saying. This, this is in the alpha version, and this is why it's not out to everybody. I don't mind taking the risk. Listen, I'm more than happy to lose my stuff if it means that I can showcase stuff off for you guys, and so you guys can be more prepared, and even so you guys know what to do when this update comes. But for example, like with this alpha, uh, when stuff like that happens, listen, I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit. I don't mind. I'm more than happy to sacrifice anything that I got so you guys can see what is to come as soon as possible. And boop, goodbye to you, my friend. Boop. Oh, how did I miss that? Hello? No, this guy right over there. Ooh, goodbye to you. And do I have my, uh, no, 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 okay. Uh, oh, my meds just disappeared. Pfft. Yeah. So, this alpha is a little bit finicky, as you guys are seeing very firsthand. <laughs> uh, I wonder if we might be able to lockpick any of these doors over here. But I do believe there should be a lockpickable door coming up soon. Let's just go ahead and spread a little bit of that pistol drizzle into these jailbirds and see if any of these doors are lock pickable. Not by the looks of it. Hello, hungry chompa. How do you do, you hungry, hungry hippo looking dude? Boop. Once you take enough damage, he ain't looking so hungry no mo. All right, now the question is, where does the burglary? Oh, you guys see that right there? Oh, that is the juice. That is the lock that we were talking about. So let's just go ahead and start picking that bad boy and boop. The lock falls off, the door opens, and I think that the loot behind these locked doors has actually increased in quality, and oh, oh, oh that it has. Hello, Survivor's Notes. Always happy to take some extra EXP, so let's try and find the rest of the locked doors that the police station has to offer, because I believe it has three in total, and oh, baby, we got a hungry, hungry, no, we got a brawler on our butts this time, not even a hungry, hungry hippo. Let's just try to continue. We're spreading a little bit of that pistol drizzle all up into this dude's face. Boop. Goodbye to you. Is this door openable now? Can I pick this door? Oh, no, I don't think so. Feels bad. No lock on that door? I ain't interested. I only want locked doors. I want to get to the bottom of this. And uh, is this one locked over here? Nope, no, nope, nope, nope. Definitely not locked. <laughs> well, okay, we got to try and deal with these dudes the normal way. And then hopefully we can try and find some of those locked doors. And then hopefully we can find a locked chest within uh, our usual area. Okay, here's the thing, too. I'm going to equip this so we can spread a little bit of that. Who's shot going to rain upon these schmucks? A little bit more shotgun rain upon these dudes. And boop. Goodbye to you. Let's go and get our pistol. So, yeah, I'm going to try not to use my quick slots or extra pockets or anything because I'm trying not to lose too much stuff here. But, uh... I don't know, man. I love all the stuff that this update brings, besides the glitches, but those obviously aren't on purpose. They're trying to work those kinks out. But I do love the stuff that it does bring, because the new tier of chest, uh, that's dope. That's got a thumbs up for me. This grenade, if we could get our hands on it, that'll be dope. Finally, a use for the burglar skill, definitely dope. And let's go ahead and spread a little bit of pistol drizzle into these officers over here. And, dude, that is rough, though, man. We lost, like, look at this. Look, 
what is going on? I don't know. It like, it let me drag like an invisible item off my extra pocket perk. So, eh, I'm gonna just try to avoid putting stuff into those slots. Uh, is this a door locked over here? Nope, that door was not locked. So I believe the locked. Oh, mama, I got this guy on my butt. Oh, where are you, all you people coming from? No, 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 no. Why do I need to deal with all of you? This is not what I signed up for. <laughs> Oh, God dang it. All right. Let's bring a little bit of death and pistol drizzle to these guys because, uh, oh, please don't corner me. I don't have a lot of uh, healing capabilities right now. Okay. Yeah, I'll just kind of back it up over there. This guy's going to want to go boom. I'm going to punch you. Okay. One more punch and then you want to boom. There we go. We got a skedaddle on out of there. <laughs> we need some guns. All right. So lucky for us, we still got a couple left over in our inbox. Let's so just grab a couple of these and let's... Let's not use those pockets for the time being. Don't worry. By the time you guys have this update, that should be all smoothed over. That shouldn't be an issue. And I think that is something that a lot of people can be happy about because that'd be a pretty poopy issue, man. Like, already, I've lost a couple of things. But at least we figured out that it's a problem and we are kind of uh, avoiding putting anything into those slots. Goodbye to your leg, kind sir. You were not in need of that. But I believe then, like, the only place that these locked doors could be at this point has to be... Yeah, oh, my God. God, look at the lock on that thing. Keep out. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep in, baby. Oh, dude, that looked like that was probably a more advanced lock. Now, here's the thing. Since we are max level in the burglar skill, I am not sure which of these locks are a level one burglar lock, level two burglar lock, or level three burglar lock, but I suppose that's something we'll be getting to the bottom of, but I want to get to the bottom of what type of loot these chests happen to have now, and there's no locked door here, so... Hmm, maybe I was mistaken, but I really thought that there'd be, uh, three locked items. Three locked entities in total. But alright, let's see what we got over here, and, eh, decent. Like, we got some okay healing items. Maybe some more survivor guide, though. That's something I could get behind. Come on, game, no whammy, no whammy, no, no freaking whammy. It's just the normal survivor's notes, but yo, I'll take that straight to the bank. Let's collect a couple of these things here, a couple of those things there, and... I think we're looking good for the most part. Let's go also get a little bit of jerky up in our tummy, too. And, uh, I don't really know what other doors could be locked. You know, I'll continue looking. Don't get me wrong. Maybe there's, like, a locked chest somewhere throughout all of this. Hello, zombie officer. Goodbye, zombie officer. Uh, but, I don't know. Maybe, I want to see also these other cabinets, too. Has their loot increased? And if so, and we're also going to, I think I want to check out some of the other items, or some of the other areas as well. We'll definitely be doing that. We'll be doing a grand tour around all of the respawnable locations. We'll be giving a visit to uh, the farm. That's definitely one place that I think would be worthwhile going to. Like this door. And yeah, that, that was never lockpickable. But uh, I think the farm, maybe something will be lockpickable over there. Maybe the motel will have a locked area now. Like, there's a couple of different possibilities. God dang it, where could this final lock be? I thought that there was three locked doors, if I was not mistaken. But I suppose not. What up, Hungry Hungry Hippo? And goodbye, Hungry Hungry Hippo. I wish we could get behind there, though. That's where the goods have to be. All right. Oh, there we go. So there is a locked chest right here, kind of, sort of. A locked locker. <laughs> it's to be exact. And this locked locker has... Oh, baby. It's got what we were looking for. A grenade with 200 damage. Now, I've heard that these grenades are kind of glitchy in the alpha. So I don't know what to do with them. They can only be put in the extra slot too, which is why I'm a little bit concerned that this glitch is about to eat up my my love over here. And I don't want that to happen. So I'm going to try to put a sacrifice. Oh, okay. That just got eaten up. Uh, another sacrifice. Okay. It continues eating. Oh, this is horrifying. Um, hmm. Yeah. I don't know how we're going to handle this one, lads. Uh, why don't we try and put one piece of jerky at a time? Okay. The jerky is safe. Okay, it is not safe over there. Okay. Are we sure this pocket is safe? If we extra confirmation. Okay. That pocket looks like it's pretty safe here. We're going to risk it for the biscuit with this grenade. If I blow myself, I, I kind of want to grab some enemies to test it on, though. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out how this dang thing works, too. There's so many questions I have. Let's just put it over there. Ah! Okay. Woo! It stays. Now, we got to figure out how do we even use this grenade? And that is also a great question. Um, ah, there's not really a giant group of enemies we could attack here or anything, though. We could try to test it out on the riot zombie over here. So, okay, I'm, I'm going to 
click it and oh hello uh, oh oh okay okay so that's how it works apparently um so once you once you click it you need to hold on it all right so check it out we'll test it on over here then we'll see if we can't get that ride zombie but check it out so once you guys click on the grenade it opens up this little like turny meter and that is where you kind of want to like you're bringing it back i hope it's not like a cocked grenade and it like blows up or something and uh, you can kind of like so you guys can kind of finesse it like that. So in the lower right hand corner, you guys can see the more I pull it back, the further I can throw it away. And uh, if we start moving in the middle of the throw, it will cancel the throw as well. So kind of good news there, but that's how it works. So once you click it, you want to hold on it and it will open up this movement meter. And then that movement meter will allow you to actually uh, kind of cock it back a little bit. And I'm going to try to throw it over here at Mr. Riot Zombie and Hopefully things work, so cowabunga, my dude! Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work! Oh! Oh, oh my god! Well, there goes our only grenade, so uh, I suppose we'll go and start looking for another one, but at least we got to show off the grenade mechanics, how it works, the ability to throw it, and, you know, dude, I, it's not a major update. It didn't add, oh, here's what I'm gonna say. It didn't add any one major thing, but this update added in a ton of small things that are honestly pretty dope. Uh, the Raider quest, that's something we've been needing for a while. The chest revamp, that's something that I, uh, just another tier of chest. It's hard to go wrong with that, man. So that's pretty dope on top of it. And then we also have, uh, I mean, the gasoline. Eh, I mean, and driving motorcycles was always super expensive in zones. So if it makes it more viable, that's definitely a good thing on top of that. And uh, whatchamacallit, dude, adding in a grenade? I don't know, man. Once we can hopefully start stockpiling that thing and finding more of them, let's let's go. Let's check out the red zone. We got a little bit of energy to spare. Also, maybe we'll give the gas station. Like, like I'm saying, I want to go to all of the unique locations. The gas station there. Maybe Bunker Bravo will have new stuff. The motel. We're going to be giving each of them a look and seeing which ones have that stuff hidden. But still a very cool kind of low-key little update that adds in a ton of small things. But those small things are all, at least in my opinion, pretty dope, if you ask me. Okay. A Vitor saying to you, my toxic Peter friends. I know I'm a smelly guy, but come on now. No need to bum rush me like that. <coughs> but, uh... After we go ahead and finish exploring this and seeing what these chests... Uh, and the fact that maybe they'll be locked if we're lucky. And also, that's the thing, too. I don't know if you guys saw, but one of the quests we ended up having... Uh, I have no... Oh, okay, no, I also got a gun. But uh, one of the quests we actually whoop, ended up having was to go and kill Deadface. So some of the bosses from uh, the uh, Survivor Guide have actually made a little bit of a return and they will now be possible to, uh, what should we call? I'm just looking for locks on these things. I am not seeing locks so far. So no lock luck so far, but it does appear that some of the uh, quests and tasks that we had in the Survivor Guide, like for example, taking down those bosses have now returned as Raider quests and <coughs> I don't know, dude, having bought little, like, mini boss battles for the Raider quest, like, taking down specific enemies, I definitely think that that's super dope, and it's a great kind of re-implementation re of what was kind of already, like, a quest, if you think about it. And I don't know if the guy that we need to kill, because we got to find Deadface, I don't know if he spawns in here or in the Limestone Spires, but like I said, we've shown off all the, whatchamacallit, all the chests here. At least from what I've heard so far, I do believe that these locked chests are not the most common thing in these zones. I, it might take a little bit of a while to find them, but, uh, a, you know, better than nothing, man, because at least from the one locked thing that we opened, we got a grenade, so I'm gonna be on the lookout for more of those, and whenever the bunker respawns, we'll go try to get that locked chest over there, because the bunker has a locked chest for sure. We saw that the police station has a locked locker for sure, and a couple of locked doors with cool loot behind them as well, so... I don't know, man. This update, it definitely adds... It It just makes everything... I, I don't know how to describe it, man. And... Ooh! The Toxic Abomination has a new skin, too. Look at that little fella right over there. Looking fancy schmancy, aren't you there, Mr. Abomination? But, uh, I don't know, man. It definitely improved a lot of things. And, like, it improved a lot of small things in a lot of ways. And it added in a couple of minor things, too. But all in all, as a content update in total, with all the things that were added, like, alone, each one of these things would have been very small. But to see all of them come in one update, 
I definitely think it's pretty dope. But that's gonna be when we start wrapping it up for me for now. Best of luck to you guys and gals. Getting the chopper gas tank and joining the chopper squadron. Best of luck bringing your pup. Again, the true friend perk, leveling up your own perks and skills. Not to mention finding the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got. Best of luck building up your base, going out on the dopest of raids, defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you, getting past the multiplayer wall, and most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time all throughout. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.